All right, we could look at this from Silver Doctors. When physical diverges from paper silver, we always see this on these silver prices, right? Or silver blocks, that there's a discrepancy between these two markets, right? Whether you want to agree with it or not, that's not what I'm trying to get at here. What I'm trying to get at now is Bitcoins, right? There's actually a huge divergence now, and there's no paper or physical market for bitcoins right but there are different exchanges now let's look at that now yeah let's look at Mt. Gox $367 if you guys remember Mt. Gox used to be the best exchange out there and because of that you used to see these prices much greater than the other exchanges so this is 367 as bitstamp is $651 that's a huge discrepancy I don't know if a lot of people have noticed that within the last few days but now Bitstamp allows withdrawals of cash from their exchanges. Mt. Gox, I believe, does not. This is an article from Carl Denninger. He's at the Market Hyphen Ticker. It says, "You're stupid Bitcoin believers. Come on, guys, take a gander at this and tell me what it means." Let's look at this graph, by the way. So, if you look at it, right, you could see that there are many exchanges listed here: Bitstamp, BTC, .e local bitcoins he says to ignore Mt. Gox camp BX so he's looking at various exchanges for bitcoin prices and we could see a difference between all these exchanges and before getting into this article Carl Denninger if you remember he was a programmer okay and he does still program but let's just read on in this article you wanna know what I call this phenomenon is a scam the answer is found right there in the chart. Ignore Mt. Gox as it's offline. Look at the others. What do you notice among with these recent quotes? That is everything down to Camp BX roughly. One of the things I used to do is write code for people that did arbitrage between exchanges. These are risk free profit opportunities provided you can identify price disparities and execute the trades knowing that they'll clear and are good. There's a reason that only a tiny fraction of a cent different exists in the price of a euro or a yen between New York and London, for example. You see, if there's a difference, any difference, someone comes in and buys in one place and sells in the other at the same time, pocketing that difference. It's free money if you're fast enough, and it forces the two prices together. So why hasn't it happened here? There are thousands, if not tens of thousands of institutions, individuals with enough resources in the form of computing and communication powers to do it. There's only one reason not to pick up the free money. You don't think you're going to get paid. That is, the trade won't be any good initially, or you'll never get your cash back out. So as long as this sort of thread exists, nearly 1% between contemporary exchanges and even more as soon as you move a bit further off on time, and no, those others don't, didn't move anywhere near that much on price during that time. There's no market and there's no actual exchange because nobody with real money believes that they'll get paid. If they did, they'd arbitrage these exchanges instantly and the quotes would immediately converge to within a fraction of a cent or the exchange on the wrong end would be driven to instant bankruptcy. There can be a legitimate difference in, excuse me, in the price of Brent and Light Sweet Crude, for example, because it costs money to deliver it from one place to another, and there's a quality difference. Neither, excuse me, neither of these apply to Bitcoin. Get back to me about this being something other than an all-on scam when someone with some money believes that they'll get paid. You'll know when that happens because the spread between those so-called exchanges will instantly disappear in a puff of smoke as the arbitrage guys come in and immediately force the different exchanges to converge. There you go. Carl Denninger hits a point. One of the criticisms of Bitcoin right now is that there, you see a huge discrepancy between these exchanges, right? And he's saying that no one is trying to arbitrage and try to make money off of the spreads. So that's one of the criticisms of the Bitcoin market. And that's not saying that they're go it's going to change over time. You have to remember this is a new system. And we don't know what it's going to be within the next few years or 5, 10, 15 years from now if it does exist. So that's something to note, guys. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.